First new details in a standoff in Lake County. Investigators say the homeowner was hurt in a shooting with deputies and just died from his injuries. Glad you're with us. I'm Lisa Bell. I'm Julie Broughton. This is News 6 at 430, getting results. And I'm Ginger Gadsden. and this all happened this afternoon at a home on Pine Island Road near Claremont. That's not far from County Road 561. News 6's Brian Didlake joins us now live from the scene in Lake County with the new breaking details. Brian. Uh, yes, in the past 45 minutes, we learned the homeowner's name, a 69 year old Donald Bradley. I did speak with some neighbors off camera who say that he was a quiet man who kept to himself. But here looking at the scene, investigators have been out here since uh, earlier today, and they say that this all started after conducting a wellness check. The individual that called us was basically just hadn't seen him in a while, wanted to just come and check on him. A Lake County Sergeant Jim Vachon says that's what started a dangerous confrontation with deputies. Deputies arrived while they were conducting the well-being check. They were met with an individual that um, presented a firearm. And that firearm was a rifle and a handgun, according to deputies. This all unfolding on Pine Island Road in Claremont. And deputies say when the homeowner, 69-year-old Donald Bradley, approached them armed, that's when a standoff occurred. Um, they sought cover. Uh, we, we brought our negotiators in. Our SWAT team responded. Uh, sometime during the process, one of our deputies had to discharge his firearm, and the individual was taken to South Lake Hospital. A helicopter footage shows the area deputies are investigating. A Lake County Sheriff's Office say that Bradley has died after being shot by deputies. It's unclear what took place during negotiations, but deputies say they'll be reviewing as the investigation continues. Point firearms at our deputies, so we're, we're investigating that side of it as far as a crime. Um, the Florida Department of Law Enforcement is on scene investigating the officer ball shooting. That's just routine. Uh, now, we are told that no deputies were injured, uh, but before we go, I want to place you where we are right now. Uh, we're in the greater Claremont area where homes are spaced out. So looking over here, you do see a one neighbor, but if you go all the way over this way, uh, it expands out to a greater field. Now, after speaking with neighbors again, they say that this uh, man was a, was a quiet man who kept to himself, but a deputy said that this was such a dangerous situation enough for to tell people to stay away from this area as they handled the situation. And of course, we will continue uh, to follow any updates uh, from this latest case. But for right now, we are in Lake County. Brian Ditlake, getting results, News 6.